Is it just me? Or has the training gotten a little stale lately? No way! I'm learning from the best at WWE's Performance Center. I don't think this could ever get stale. Good. Well, it's my job to try and keep it that way. I want to introduce a PC Championship belt to up the competition. Want to compete for it? Sure. I plan on winning a number of titles in my career. Might as well start now. Great. You'll be in a triple threat match with Josie and Fanny. May the best woman win.
Hey, I've been really impressed with your training so far. Thank you. I'm trying my best. It shows. I keep thinking about new ways to challenge you, and I think I've found one. The WWE Decathlon. Oh, cool. Event number one, wrestling. Event number two, um... Okay, I'm gonna need some help here. I'll put you in the ring with Fanny, and I'll give you ten objectives you have to complete before you can attempt to pin or submit her. What do you think? I like it. Adds a new wrinkle to the match. I'm in. Great. You get changed while I put a list of objectives together. See you out there.
Big news. We just got word that Triple H has decided to hold a PC showcase to scout the talent here. Who do I need to impress? The GMs from all three brands will be here. And all three are bringing a superstar from their brand to give them an extra set of eyes on you. But they won't just be watching. We've been really impressed with how you've been doing down here. So we couldn't think of anyone better to square off against one of the visiting superstars. The GMs also want to see your full presentation, so you'll be in your wrestling gear and everything. Cool. Which superstars will be here? Shotzi Blackheart will be here from NXT, Lacey Evans from SmackDown, or, if you really want a challenge, Sasha Banks specifically requested to be the representative from Raw. All you have to do is figure out who you want to face. Keep in mind, if you can pull off a win over a tougher opponent, you would do more to impress the GMs. I want to face Shotzi. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Good luck. Make us proud. Are you, like, so pumped? We get to meet William Regal! Do you think he'll sign my action figure? You have a William Regal action figure with you? Always! You never know! Do you think they were just in the neighborhood, or is something special going on? We're having a PC showcase. The GMs are coming to see if any of us are ready to be signed. What? I stopped listening after they said who was coming! This day just gets better and better! I cannot believe it! You're starting to hyperventilate again. I know. It's better I get it out now. I hope you're not too excited about this showcase. I'm not excited. I'm just focused on showing everyone what I can do. Again. So am I. You know everyone's coming to scout me, right? I'm finally healthy, not like when you fluked into your match against Sasha. I'm gonna destroy Fanny and let everyone see who Josie Jane really is. Good luck. There's room in WWE for both of us. Let's go put on a show.
I must admit, that was a rather brilliant performance. With that being said, we would be absolutely delighted to have you join us in NXT. Of course you would. I just destroyed your hand-picked competition. You can't throw anything at me that I'm not ready for. I'm about to raise the bar. Let me assure you, the bar is already quite high in NXT. But nonetheless, I look forward to seeing you attempt to reach your lofty goals. Congratulations. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you chose to face someone other than Sasha because you wanted a new challenge. Unfortunately, a win over a less established talent didn't show me enough today to give you the benefit of a SmackDown contract. You're more short-sighted than I thought you were. I'm the best new talent this place has seen since forever. You just let me get away. And you just let me know that I'm right. Good luck. You're going to need it. That was an impressive win. Thank you. I was sure you were going to choose to face Sasha. I thought I'd give you a chance to see me against a different opponent. Oh? Because it looked to me like you were running away rather than facing someone with extra motivation. No, I just... It wasn't... Look, I came down here prepared to offer you a raw contract. But I also came here sure I would see a woman who wasn't afraid of a challenge. I guess we're both disappointed. See you around. I guess you expect me to congratulate you. No, but I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll get your chance before long, too. You're not the only one who's getting out of here. I just got signed to SmackDown. Wow, good for you. At least someone who has real talent is getting their opportunity. As for you, I do not have high hopes. Funny, that's not what management thought. But maybe we can settle this someday if we ever end up on the same brand. Yeah, maybe. NXT? Who's got NXT? We got NXT! You got signed to NXT too? Yep! We're gonna be tearing it up with Dakota Kai, Mia Yim, Tegan Knox. I'm bringing my gear, my autograph book, and the bags I breathe into when I start to hyperventilate. Fanny, you've got to relax. We both got signed because we belong there. We're not fans anymore. Who knows? One of us could end up becoming NXT Champion. You think you might become NXT Champion? That's my plan. You have got to sign my autograph book! I guess I know where to turn if I ever need an ego boost. Just don't sign to Fanny in case I ever have to sell the autograph online. You get more cash if they're not personalized. This is going to be so much fun! I knew you were a wannabe, but I didn't know you were a coward. I made the choice that I felt was best for me today, and it worked out. No, you chose to run away. But don't worry. Even if we are on different brands, I'll find a way to get payback. Watch yourself. Congratulations. Yeah, we think this is an absolutely perfect fit for you. Just remember, this isn't an ending. It's the beginning of the next chapter of training. You're always learning in WWE. Having a long and successful career means you never stop pushing yourself to be better. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. But be sure to stop and appreciate the moments. Otherwise, 
It'll be over in an instant. Okay, okay, got it. You know I'll still be available via phone, right? And I'll probably still come in here to work out on off days. You don't have to cram every piece of advice into this conversation. Just trying to help, but I hear you. Good luck out there. And there you see the newest addition to NXT's roster making their way into the arena. If you ask me, I think she's gonna do big things here. Well, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. She is the definition of superstar. You're one of my favorites to watch in NXT. Probably helps that you're not snarky like Candice LeRae. I posted a compilation video of some of her best tables matches, and she saw it and insulted my editing skills. Now, I'm more interested in seeing Candice have a bad tables match. The following contest is a tables match, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray and yeah. Mercer. She says the thrill she gets from competing in the ring just hits different than being in movies, and her future is in WWE. If she's not in her A game tonight, it will hit different, and I guarantee she won't like it. She's looking to rip her to shreds. It's Candace wrestling. And from Anaheim, California, Candace the what the WWE Universe sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. All feel bad? What are you talking about? She it's... is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Wait, just stop. No, they see someone, Corey, who is absolutely passionate about living out her dream job. It's a global pity party. climactic end to a tables match. That is something else. Rough well landing. Belly to belly suplex. Bad predicament right here. Ray and Mercy.
finisher. And this one is over. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Wow, I saw all that drama on social media. Dakota's accusations are crazy. I know, right? I can't believe you said all those things. What? I didn't. Fanny, come on, you know me. Are you really going to trust Dakota's word over mine? Of course not, but when I told Dakota that, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, it's totally true, and she was serious in a way that I was really not prepared for, and it scared me a little bit, and now I'm thinking that, yes, I do believe her over you. I'm very disappointed. Seriously? After all we've been through? You know what? I've been so annoyed by this whole situation that I really needed to blow off some steam in the ring. And since Dakota is dodging me, I think it should be you. So how about we see if I can change your mind that way? Do you ever step back and think about how odd it is that this is the only way we choose to settle our differences? Me neither. Let's do it! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. This actor turned athlete shut out the noise from the haters online and immersed herself in the performance center system. Her background in physical action roles helped her make a smoother transition to in-ring competition. She knows tonight is going to be a big challenge, but if anyone is up for it, it's this woman. Super fan turned superstar. It's Maylee Fan. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Maylee. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. A 
a determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. Triple H and NXT's iconic trainers, but has anyone stopped to wonder what if Fanny's opponent didn't actually say the things she's been accused of saying? Up. It looks like for a belly to belly, belly to belly. Oh, no. oh my goodness! Such a potent display of power and control there. Whoa. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh God, that hurt. Two. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Suplex. Sends into the corner. Here we go. This is going to be it. If this lands, it is over. On the top rope. This is this is insane. Oh, Avalanche powerbomb. We got a cover. He's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oh. Producing a trampoline. Good contact. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh, he's right. Fallway slam. She's losing some steam now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Bam! Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Reversal, can they go on the attack? Strong kick out late into the match. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Agility. She manages to get control. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. For the win. Two. It's over. All in a night's work. Here is your winner, Ray. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
Dakota, you've made some pretty serious allegations recently on social media. Because she's making some pretty serious comments, and they need to be addressed. She said, and I quote, the PC was a breeding ground for mediocrity, and I'm embarrassed I had anything to do with that place. Awful. Do you know how many amazing superstars, me included, owe their careers to that place? Normally, I don't spread rumors, but I don't like hearing someone make disparaging comments about a place and the people there who are so important to me. Well, I guess at this point, it's your word against hers. No, it's not. Everyone saw what Finn Balor posted. He can back me up on all of this. I'm just glad she's finally getting exposed for the deceitful, two-faced liar she is. Thank you, Dakota, for uh, clearing that up. There you see Dakota Kai, who just doubled down further on her recent controversial claims. Wait, from behind, the time for rumor and innuendo is over. Good thing we got the big screens out in the arena so that the WWE Universe can see this brawl for themselves. Oh, listen, the last thing these two are thinking about is an audience. If hate is too strong of a word, then these two dislike each other extremely intensely, in case you couldn't tell. Somebody's got to do something before somebody gets seriously injured back there. Saxton, you're a sissy. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Oh, God. Wrench in the arm, Pele kick. She's got an answer for that. Powerless position to be in right now. Running power slam. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Oh man. Kai sidestep out of the way. She avoids the contact. Counter after counter. Oh, and that buys some time. And a drop. Any offense from Dakota. Two-handed choke slam. Oh, what are they gonna do? Oh, look at this! Look at this power! No way! Stomping! Ouch! Quick thinking pays off. She saw it coming. A well-aimed strike. Oh, that backfired on her. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Oh, is that a spear? Interceptor, Corey. Oh. Treating the torso to yet another attack. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Able to get out of the way. Oh, man. Two-handed choke slam. She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. <laughs> Kai with a nice turnaround. Planted with the bulldog. She flips it back on her. And this might not have a pleasant ending. To the table with authority! Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. And the official...
following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. Just because this competitor's career began in Hollywood doesn't mean you can't discount her fight. She's done more than hold her own since her days training at the WWE Performance yeah. Center. She knows she's swimming with sharks, and there's a sea of people who continue to want her to fail. such a talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. Here comes trouble. A superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! This is a woman who demands her place in the spotlight and has taken it by pure force. A woman who possesses incredible speed and toughness. And no shortage of animosity. That's a good thing. Tonight, Dakota Kai is defending her honor against a superstar who appears to be spinning further and further out of control. Uh, Dakota Kai's opponent has been accused of saying some pretty reprehensible stuff. I'll give you that, but where's the proof, Corey? It's all she said, she said. That may be the case, but the time for talking has ended as Dakota Kai and her opponent look to settle their issues in the ring. Flipping senton, that was nice. Hold on a second. What what is happening? Set all the way to the outside. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. And what a push. Two. Belly to belly suplex. And now Dakota Three. is feeling heavy pressure. Kai might be feeling a bit rattled. Tough position to be caught in here. She's enduring some damage. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Re-enters under the ropes. And now she's getting back into the ring. Dakota wards off the attack. Thanks for coming. And she's being held in check here. Yeah, she is taking all the restraints off. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Slam. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Oh, what a counter. And Kai finally able to mount some resistance with that. It's like Kai has got a new source of aggression to battle back with. Made her pay for her mistake. Dakota seems unable to turn the momentum here. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Look at this. Incredible. The lift German suplex. That offense really hitting her hard. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Monster set up in the corner. 
Full control of their opponent, slamming their opponent right in front of the, the corner. With more in mind here, look out! Beautiful splash! Oh yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh is right. Four-way slam! And the hits to the core keep coming. There you go, Cole. Superstar planning now on the top rope, bringing their opponent with them. Perched up high, this is hazardous. Oh, Avalanche, powerbomb. The end is low. That should do it right there. One, two, three. Emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Ray N. Mercer. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. So, you've been busy. And you haven't. I need you to step in and stop all this social media back and forth. Normally stuff like this wouldn't bother me, but she's going after my reputation. Finn, too. And then I beat her, and that still didn't shut her up. What more can I do? Nothing. It's a she said, she said situation. And it's hard to know whose side to take. It's not very hard. Take mine, the one who isn't lying. For all I know, you might have been lying when you said that. It's quite a conundrum. Luckily, I've come up with a magnificent and unprecedented solution. The two of you will face off in a no disqualification match. Whomever loses will then be immediately hooked up to a lie detector machine. Then we'll have definitive proof of who has been forthright and who has not. This is unbelievable. It is, but after this, one of you will be believable. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer! Her presence certainly ruffled feathers in the women's locker room. No one wanted an actor slash reality star to take a spot on the roster. Other superstars thought she'd stroll in here once a week, wave to the WWE Universe, and leave. To this actor turned superstar's credit, she proved to be the real deal inside the ring.
a competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! This is a woman who demands her place in the spotlight and has taken it by pure force. A woman who possesses incredible speed and toughness. And no shortage of animosity. That's a good thing. It's all come to this. Dakota Kai and the woman accused of disrespecting WWE's most iconic figures are squaring off in an ODQ match with a lie detector test awaiting the loser. Finally, the truth is around the corner. You can't handle the truth, Saxton. Well, I have a feeling Dakota Kai is the one who can't handle the truth, Corey. With no countouts, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. She steers clear of that one. Belly to belly suplex. The power, the strength, and now just pressing. And a drop. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. She's into the ring again. She's taking things to ringside. She's getting something from under the ring. Lined him up. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Climbs back inside. Oh, she counters right back on Kai. This one is headed outside, guys. She's getting that table right where she wants it. She clearly has something in mind. Big punch finds its mark. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. She's in the ring now. Huh. Boom! <laughs> She's getting something from under the ring. Looks like she's opting to go with the old classic, a steel chair. Oh, my God. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kyle might be feeling a bit wild. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. into the ring. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. <laughs> Holy, that was an awful landing. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Kai out of there. Yeah. Oh, thumbs up. 
looking dire for Dakota Kai. Not what you want to see by any means. Being carried around with ease. Running power slam! Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Full court press being applied to Kai. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Dakota wards off the attack. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh my God, that table right there. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh, through the table. That could put Kai down for good. Slides back into the ring. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Look at this raw sit-up powerbomb. Momentum has shifted to her corner. Yeah, this is a great flurry she's putting together. She's pushed into the corner. What are we gonna see here? Bullhead of steam. Uh-oh. Yes. And her body has just been decimated. Yeah, the consistent blows to her body have probably finished taking their toll. Setting foot in the ring now. She has her target, weighed and measured. Ooh. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai might be feeling a bit rattled. Turning the throat there. Looking to end this. My goodness. Tuck her in. It's bedtime. Here you go, Kai. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up yes. and driven down with a jackhammer. Good night, nurse. There's two. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. I can't believe this is actually happening, but at least we're finally going to get some answers. I don't understand why I have to do this. This is humiliating. I'm not the one who spent the last few weeks smearing everyone I've ever met, including legends who've helped me get here. No, you're the one who lied about it. Ladies, please. The truth will be revealed in due time. Now, Dakota, let's begin with some warm-up questions to calibrate our readings. Should be an easy one here. What is your name? Dakota Kai. That is a true statement. Okay, where were you born? Auckland. Can I go now? Another true statement. And uh, no, not yet. Next one. Do you think I'm a good GM? Uh, yes. You've wounded my feelings, but at least we know the machine is properly calibrated. Now, let's get to why we're really here. When you said you overheard your opponent tonight saying the PC is a breeding ground for mediocrity, was that the truth? Yes. Lie. I'm telling the truth. That's also a lie. That machine is faulty. Another lie. I told you. This proves everything. Fine. I made it all up. And then I convinced Finn to lie too. You happy? Is that what you want to hear? Yes. That was the whole point of all of this. She's right. You were in my way and I didn't know what else to do. I deserve all the same opportunities they've given you. Turn that thing off. Yeah, give it a break. 
I want what you've got. And I'm going to use everything I can to get it. So I took my shot. Maybe this time I went too far. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I should have handled things in the ring rather than making up all those lies and rumors. I hope you can someday forgive me. But for now, how about a truce? I don't know about this. Dakota Kai with a cheap shot. This woman has absolutely no dignity. I think we got official confirmation of that here tonight. Hey, maybe they should have left the lie detector on a little longer. Could have prevented Dakota's opponent from getting smacked in the face. Something tells me this still isn't over between these two. I hope she's taking notes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Ray N. Mercer and the game Triple H. They call it mixed tag for a reason. Very different personalities in the ring. It is never too late to learn something new, and I hope she realizes that. Lights, camera, action. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. Byron, you look scared. I am scared. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. This is a woman who demands her place in the spotlight and has taken it by pure force. A woman who possesses incredible speed and toughness. And no shortage of animosity. That's a good thing. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The first ever Universal Champion, a multiple time Intercontinental Champion. NXT titles, what can't the Prince do? Oh, it seems like year after year, Finn Balor just reaches greater heights in his career. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. 
You see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. because we're in store for an explosive climax to a saga that has reached all the way to the very top of NXT. What a night. A legend among legends has joined the recently exonerated NXT superstar to make Finn Balor and the Kill the Kai pay for their despicable lives. Into the pin attempt. Two. A kick out to stay alive. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Into the turnbuckle. Next tag team working together. Doubled up. Oh, These are big power moves becoming more devastating with every attempt. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Back suplex on the apron. Whoa. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Two. They'll slide back in the ring now. Put on the defensive. Bang! Unbelievable brutality from the game. Finn is being worked on heavily. My goodness, did you hear that shot? Well scattered reversal there. Balor able to stop the blitz that was coming his way. Could be what Balor needed to ignite a rally. Oh no. Oh, not to the belly! The cover. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. Not even close. Heading up, he's thinking big. Oh, look out. Catches nothing but air. Caught with punch. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. There he goes, right into the corner. Finn left unprotected. performance. Uh, <laughs> Another uh, one for good measure. Uh, Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Are you kidding me? She's feeling the hurt here. from the game. Oh, a hard impact in the corner. Setting him up for something here. And whatever. 
up on the top rope. As is part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. Shut right out of the ring. He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. Teamwork in that win.
I've been watching a ton of old China matches lately. Her WrestleMania championship win in two minutes and 39 seconds, iconic. Think you can beat someone that quick? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. Some critics didn't believe her interest in WWE was genuine, but she demonstrated tremendous dedication at the Performance Center and drive to become a WWE superstar. The competition here is next level. If things take a wrong turn, she could be in a perpetual state of pain and kiss any remaining Hollywood dreams goodbye. She's been training for this match for quite a while, and she plans on making a statement here tonight. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. Chelsea looks like she'd be sticky to touch. Well, she was a finalist on WWE Tough Enough back in 2015, but was medically disqualified. Fought hard to earn her way on the independent scene, recovered from that medical condition, and now she is right where she belongs here in WWE. WWE Universe Shotzi. It's always better to follow a tank than have to face it. Why don't you get up there and test that theory, Saxton? Yeah, I'm good. And here's a woman on a mission. She has the singular goal of being the most dominant superstar in the women's division. And she has no issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no second place for her in any competition. And then there is Shotzi Blackheart, a superstar who competes without fear, considers herself indestructible when that bell rings. Like a human tank, Blackheart has no problem steamrolling her way through the competition. Oh. Blackheart turns it around. Quick exchange of counters there. She's uh -oh. fighting back. And she goes for the pin. Oh, come on. What benefit is there in prolonging things? in the corner. What are we going to see here? Full head of steam. Uh-oh. Look at this. Incredible. The lift German suplex.
through the clothesline. What impact! <laughs> Got to find a way to get out of this. What a cutter! He's looking for the win. Pin stopped by rope break. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. She's calling for it. She won't like what she's met with. Run right through with the spear. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Jackhammer! Is there any life left in Shotzi? Two count! Shoulders up! Shoulders up! Had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? is left after that. The best shot was thrown, but he couldn't put this match away. Belly to belly suplex. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. <laughs> Looking worse for wear in the corner now. What are we going to see here? Full head of steam. Uh-oh. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Here we go. This is going to be it. If this lands, it is over. On the top rope. This is this is insane. Avalanche power bomb. She must be killed. This is going to be it. was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. She said she grew tired of making movies and needed a new challenge, a new passion. Well, there's a fine line between guts and stupidity. She's a natural born artist who fell in love with competing and has put in the work. This could be what lets her kiss Hollywood goodbye forever.
She is ready to prove she's the real deal. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. That is a scary human being. Such an incredible journey for this woman, but she knows a win tonight will take her even further. And with that, the Mae Young Classic is officially underway. And what a way to start the always intimidating Tamina versus one of NXT's most exciting rising stars. This is hands down one of my favorite tournaments in WWE, and it's even more exciting this year with Rhea Ripley and the NXT Championship match waiting at the finish line. And this one might be headed ringside. Powerless position to be in right now. Down. She goes back inside the ropes. Counter from Tamina. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. She turns it right around with a counter. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Caught with a cutter. Will this be enough? Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. The power, the strength, and now just pressing. That is something else. Rough landing. What a counter! Sequence of reversals there. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ooh, well measured. From the top! Oh, she lands hard. Boom on the jaw. Tamina now in defensive mode. Turnbuckle. And it's a long look at the edge. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and to me. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Looks like we're facing each other in the next round of the Mayon Classic. You won your first round match? Who did you face? Dakota Kai. She was about to hit me with the chiropractor, but then she slipped on the wet mat. I ended up capitalizing and I'm through. Why was the mat wet? I went full Triple H tribute on my entrance. Might have gone a bit overboard with the water spit part. Well, sometimes you've got to use every tool in your arsenal to get the W. I'll have to stay on my toes against you. Literally. Who knows? I might have found my secret weapon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. This superstar didn't have the background of an amateur wrestler or an athlete, but she compensated for that with hard work and being dedicated to life in the ring. She learned the hard way that there's a lot more to this than an exciting entrance and showing off some moves. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. Always dialed up to 100, it's May Lee Fan. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, May Lee. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of. And that dream is about to become a reality. One of the top names in the entire women's division. And she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. After a shocking upset win against Dakota Kai, Melee Fan is looking to stun the WWE Universe yet again here in round two of the Mae Young Classic. This time, Fanny will have to do it against an NXT superstar she knows very well from their time together at the performance center. Both of these competitors had big wins in round one, but only one of them could take another step closer to Rhea Ripley in the NXT Championship. From behind. Look at this from the ground up. Power slam. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. What are we going to see here? Full head of steam. Uh oh. Suplex. Maylee isn't being given any room to recover. Maylee needs to figure things out. Uh. Able to interrupt the attack. Uh. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for oh, reps. Oh, oh. And a drop. <laughs> Split leg drop. <laughs> Stomping down. A determined sequence of attacks from her here. She's going at full throttle right now. <laughs> 
and able to counter. This could be a good chance for her to get some distance. Oh, good close line. And these two former training partners from the PC are going back and forth in this May Young Classic match. Mailey looks to take advantage. Reversal, and the referee gets in the way. Hold on, here comes Tamina. Out for revenge for losing in the previous round. Tamina's got a kendo stick. And Tamina nails her with the kendo stick, and the referee has no idea. Neither does Fanny, but looks like she's gonna capitalize nonetheless. And here goes Mailey to the top rope. And down with the frog splash. That could be it. It's all over. Mailey Fanny Fan has advanced to the finals of the May Young Classic. Fanny is one win away from facing Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship. Unbelievable. Speaking of that, what a lost opportunity tonight for Fanny's opponent due to Tamina's involvement. You have to assume there's more to come between those two. She's on NXT. What's she even doing here? She's settling a debt from their May Young Classic encounter. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. From the moment this superstar left Hollywood and stepped in the ring, people said she had no business in sports entertainment. That her being in WWE was like tap dancing on thin ice. And it's only a matter of time before she'd fall through. The superstar has always been determined to let her success in the ring silence the haters. She can toss the social media posts out the window. It is go time. Listen, Tamina's not going to waste your time. She's just going to punch you in the mouth and fight you. And... From the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade.
Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement, becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. Tamina and her opponent have traded vicious blows all across WWE, but tonight they're back in NXT to settle this where it all started. Well, both of these women may have been knocked out of the Mae Young Classic, but you know what they say, Corey? There's only one knockout that matters in WWE. The next one. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Off oh, position in top rope, heading up there. This is not gonna be good. Could be catastrophic. Superplex from the top. Look at this raw power. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Oh, and the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. But Tamina's just one move from turning this around. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh, he's right. Fully slam! Whatever's planned here can't be good. Headed to the top rope. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! She's making that ascension up the cage. She's reached the top of the cage here, guys. No! I think that impact might have left a crater in this arena. There you go, Cole. Setting up spin! Counter from Tamina. Tamina showing how much punishment she can withstand. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. That could bring it into Tamina. Two. Three. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Ray N. Mercer. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. I know you already have a match tonight, but I'm desperate. Some WWE execs are coming from LA, but their flight is delayed. They won't get here until after the NXT taping is over. 
Wanna be a team player and put on a non-televised match for the execs and audience after the show? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the City of Angels, Ray N. Mercer. Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. 